So here's the problem. I want to add some doors to my rental portfolio, but whenever I look around, I can't find any that are priced affordable. If I do find one that I think there might be a little meat on the bone, I find that the competition for it is extremely stiff, which has moved my entire market underground. When we buy a rental property that has the ability to cash flow, we have to buy it from a private individual and not let it get to the MLS. It's a huge problem. And we all have cash right now. We're waiting to buy things that cash flow. Mining Bitcoin and owning real estate properties are very, very similar analogs. In fact, I look at my miners as if they're little green houses on a shelf, like from Monopoly. You build it, you're gonna make more money with it. I'm gonna show you how. I'm gonna show you how diversifying real estate money into Bitcoin miners, not Bitcoin, is going to make you more money, more cash flow. Definitely in the short term, maybe bridge the gap until real estate comes down a little bit, but maybe for the long term, maybe this is the thing that's going to make a difference in your retirement. I'm diversifying into it. I hope you would too. Let me show you how. Craig's not a role model. He's not a financial advisor. Some of the things he does would cause a person to get hurt, arrested, or possibly deported. If you do what Ray advises, just assume you'll lose your money. To put it another way, don't do this without your own research and careful consideration. Okay, guys. One thing I want to promise is that I'm going to keep it simple. Look, we don't understand how Visa works, but we, we understand that there's a business there and it has value, right? We don't need to understand the ins and outs of how transactions move and all the little details about Bitcoin and blockchain technology to make money in the industry. And that's why this is a perfect fit for real estate agents, because we have a framework. We understand how rentals work, and this framework is really very, very similar to how a Bitcoin miner works. It's, uh, I, I think of it like a little greenhouse on a shelf. I go out to my, to my farm and on the shelf, I have several of these you know, silver boxes and they make a lot of noise and they make a lot of money, just like a rental property. They're also a really good diversification for a rental property. Um, you know, the way the markets have been moving, I'm not so sure that having renters in a rental property is going to be as profitable in the future as it has been in the past. So let's let's look at the other options. Let's look at buying a Bitcoin miner. Uh, you might pay $10,000 for a Bitcoin miner today. However, if you look back in the past, that same miner was $3,500. Now that might be a little counterintuitive. We usually know electronics to deteriorate and decrease in value over time, and that, that is and would be true, but a, a Bitcoin miner produces more money over time as the price of Bitcoin goes up. So that, of course, increases the value of the miner itself. And what we've seen is about a two-thirds increase from the time this miner was released to today, which I think that's about three years. Uh, and that's a very good appreciation. That's going to be better than your real estate appreciation. The crux is you can't sleep on it, right? You have to cash out. You have to take the miner after one year when the warranty has expired or after two years, sell the sucker, and buy a, one that uses the same amount of power that's maybe a generation newer, and you keep on mining. You're using the same amount of power, probably making more income, just like in real estate. Whenever you trade from one piece of real estate to another, you hope to be increasing your cash flow. The difference is in real estate, it's a slower cycle. Now on taxes, there's, there's a lot of tax benefits in real estate. That's why we love real estate. The, the legislation and the benefits uh, from taxes and depreciation and all that have been huge value added in real estate. Uh, and you don't really necessarily have that with a block with a blockchain miner, with a Bitcoin miner, but you can deduct the expense. You pay $10,000 for it, and you deduct the $10,000 from your operating expenses. And just like in real estate, when you bring in things like depreciation and tax benefits and that sort of thing, with a Bitcoin miner, with the appreciation of the coin and also of the miner itself, there are also fringe benefits that are sort of hard to measure. The ROI on these on paper is about 18 months. So you would actually be offsetting your entire deduction. So this is good tax news as far as I know it. I'm not a tax professional. Don't take that as tax advice. Please double check that with a CPA or a real tax professional. 
And while I'm at it, everything included in this video, it's not financial advice. I'm sharing with you what I've done and what's worked for me and what I hope will work for you. And in subsequent videos, I will be sharing how I did it, the details. Okay, I've got about eight videos planned. <laughs> I'm actually really excited to, to do it. I, this intro video has been kind of difficult for me to make because I, it's hard to get a direction in a video when I have so much big concept stuff that I want to really teach and get into. Again, I'm going to keep it really simple. We're not going to get into technicals, but you're going to learn how you can take a real estate mindset and mine Bitcoin with it. Here's a couple advantages. When you buy a rental house, you're going to be spending a good amount of time looking for the property. And after you find it, you're probably going to have about 75 days until you're making money on the property. This includes a 45 day period for closing. You're going to have a period where you're doing repairs or updates almost every time on a rental property, not always. And then you're going to have a period where you have to vet and install the tenant. And between contractors and all that, I think 75 days is a very, really optimistic goal on that. In contrast, if you get a Bitcoin mining setup, as long as you have power, which is a 240 volt setup, uh, sometimes you'll need to split that into two plugs, you can have a Bitcoin miner up and running in three to 25 days. And they're gonna make a lot. We're gonna get into numbers here in just a moment so you can see side by side how the ROI works. But I, I want you to understand that there is a huge cost to having your money in limbo and not making money on it for 75 days when you can have a miner up you know, 50 days sooner at, at the least, probably a lot sooner than that. All right, guys, I'm going to take you over to my iPad here, and I'm going to show you my numbers. Uh, this is a very basic back of the napkin calculation. If you want something more detailed, I am going to be doing my series of seven or eight videos. There's, there's going to be one video in there that's all about this and getting into the details like depreciation and so forth. And as a spoiler, I, I don't know, I kind of expect real estate to perform better once everything is all considered. But we'll just have to see. Today, what I've got on the left is a three-bedroom, one-bath house, and on the right, we have two miners. Uh, these are equal in that they can both be purchased with $22,000. That's going to include your infrastructure on the miners to get power set up, and that's going to include uh, your renovations on the house. It's a $105,000 house, but maybe you spent $75,000 on the house and $20,000 on renovations and $5,000 on bureaucracy fees. Who knows? Anyway. $22,000 invested will get you either a three-bedroom, one-bath house, in my market, or a, a set of two Bitcoin miners. Now, you can see that rent on the house is going to be about $1,500 a month. That's not bad. Uh, on a $105,000 house, I would gladly take a $1,500 a month uh, rental income. I would think that's a good rental property. On the Bitcoin miners, at yesterday's price, it's, it's actually making about 10% more than this at today's price. Uh, you're looking at about $1,070 in income a month on that Bitcoin miner. We bring in our expenses. You're going to have the, the house payment, which I figured at 15 years. You're going to have compliance such as taxes and, and bureaucratic stuff, uh, upkeep, maintenance, the tenant tears up the place. You have vacancy, you need a new roof, okay? $1,200 a month is a very realistic expense figure for this property. On the Bitcoin miner, the only expense really is electricity. $410. That price doesn't change unless your, uh, your electric bill goes up or down. Of course, that's one of the value-added things you need to be looking into if you get into Bitcoin mining, just like you'd look into putting uh, laundry onto an apartment complex to add some value and bring in some additional income, uh, you could, you would want to look into getting lower electric costs to increase your, your base income on Bitcoin. So now we can look at the final numbers here. You collect rent $1,500, you pay $1,200 in expenses and you end up with $300 in cash flow. Fantastic. I like that rental. I have some that, that don't do as well. Now, on Bitcoin at $39,000, you make $1,070. You pay $410 in electricity and you end up with 
$660 a month in passive cash flow. There are caveats to that. There are things you need to know, like you only make as much per month as when you sell Bitcoin. A lot of people would sell it as soon as it comes in every other week. A lot of people would just take out what they need for electricity. Your business plan will vary a little bit, and I'm going to talk about those options in my series. But for now, just know that basically $660 out of this Bitcoin at yesterday's prices uh, versus $300 on the rental real estate using the same amount of money, but technically not because you've got $105,000 worth of real estate leveraged and the Bitcoin miners are purchased outright. So all that said, I hope that you can see how getting into Bitcoin mining might be a good hedge and a almost logical transition for you if you are a real estate professional into, into uh, investment real estate, if you have doors. You know, for me, it would be a, a really serious question if I had $22,000, if I was going to spend it on a door or miners, because I know right now that I'm going to get a lot more cash flow from the miners. And for me personally, I have rental real estate. It's an amazing peace of mind. I don't mind diversifying 10, 20% of my, of my net worth into Bitcoin mining to see if that cash flows for 50 or 60% of my assets. So know your market, know your business, and this is going to be highly lucrative for you. I want to take you from having a small interest in it from this video to actually being able to do it at the end of the series. They're all going to be short, they're all going to be simple, they're all going to be cash flow centric, it's not going to be nerdy jargon. Yo, I hope you'll join me next time. We're going to meet here at the pub and we're going to enjoy a nice drink as we discuss the basics of crypto. What is crypto, water wallets, uh, just the stuff you have to know before you're going to get into mining at all. I'm also going to disclose my, my system, my program, for how I turn miners into cash flowing real estate without ever selling any Bitcoin. Please join me, it's gonna be great, you're gonna learn a lot. Subscribe here to get the episode as it comes out, and if it's already available, it'll be up here, and the playlist for the entire series is right there if it's available. Talk to you soon, guys.